Florida is one of the states where concern over voting rights, voting opportunities have been raised. We're taking a closer look at the debate now underway in our state and what might be ahead. Here's CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn. As some are marking this Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, some are mobilizing against a series of laws that they believe is making voting harder and shutting out voices. It is Orwellian doublespeak to invoke the concept of voting rights to mean ballot harvesting or prohibiting voter ID or having taxpayers fund elections. Governor Ron DeSantis signed Senate Bill 90 into law last year. It forced local elections supervisors to scale back drop boxes, required voters to request those ballots more often, and makes it illegal for a trusted caregiver or friend to drop off a ballot, something DeSantis linked with harvesting ballots. The lawsuit that we filed in Florida, what we're really trying to do is make sure that Floridians have access to equitable form of balloting options, have an ease of voting, and that we can fight back with these anti-voting laws. Shortly after SB 90 became law, civil rights legal challenges were filed by groups such as the League of Women Voters and Common Cause, along with the NAACP, Southern Poverty Law Center, and Disability Rights Florida. Uh, but yet and still they're using uh, Martin Luther King Day uh, to quote uh, Martin Luther King and post pictures of, of, of Martin Luther King, uh, you, you, have, you have to pick a side. Yeah, either you support what MLK stood for or, or you don't support what MLK stood for. I can tell you this, that he wouldn't support uh, your support of SB 90. And yet more changes for voting are underway. I've proposed an election integrity unit whose sole focus will be the enforcement of Florida's election laws. We have to remain vigilant in this area. And if we're really going to be the soul of our ancestors and we're really going to be the soul of individuals like MLK, we can't get tired right now. And Governor DeSantis did say that the elections in 2020 went smoothly. In Doral, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.